everyone welcome to today's chemistry class today we are going to discuss the topic nomenclature of organic compounds nomenclature is something but naming how can we name an organic compound and the naming of organic compounds uh, is given by IUPAC that is international union for pure and applied chemistry they are giving Uh, name to a particular compound that is IUPAC name that names are known as IUPAC name and in naming we have two systems first one IUPAC system second one is common system or trivial system the common name is obtained from the sources which they obtain the sources where the uh, substance or compounds form that is all about the common system and they and for common name there is no particular rules and when we take this iupac nomenclature there are some set of rules we have to follow to give name a particular to, to name a particular compound and in organic chemistry there are number of huge number of compounds are there so we have to give a particular name to a compound so we have some rules and some poems so let us see what is what what are the rules and what are the fundamental poems we have to follow to name a compound so let us see so here nomenclature is nothing but naming of the compounds naming of organic compounds so when you discuss the naming the first thing comes to your mind is the first thing is uh, word root okay word root so along with the word root you can give the name of the particular compound word root is nothing but it depends on the number of carbon atoms so word root is all about the number of carbon atoms that we will discuss and we need prefix prefix is nothing but the word we use before the word root the word we use before the word root is prefix something we fix pre to a word is known as prefix okay and the third thing we use is suffix suffix so after this word root we have some suffixes suffix after the word suffix so the prefix word root suffix so and uh, iupc name consists of all these three things okay so first one prefix uh, second one word root and third one suffix so let us see what do you mean by word root word root indicates the number of carbon atoms in an organic compound it is a very important and the very fundamental point in the name that is the number of carbon atoms in a compound is all about word root so and word root is a very basic thing in the name okay so word root so here in this case of word root we can give word root to the compounds by counting the by counting the number of carbon atom if in a compound uh, only one carbon atom is there number of carbon atom then word root if it is one number of carbon atom is 1 we give the word root meth okay if it is 2 we give the word root eth if it is 3 uh, it is prop and for four carbon atom it is uh, but and for five carbon atom it is pend and six carbon atom it is hex and for seven carbon atom it is hept And for eight carbon atom it is opt, and for nine carbon atom it is non, n o n non, and for ten carbon atom it is dec d e c, and for eleven carbon atom it is undec, and for twelve carbon atom it is dodec, undec dodec. Okay, so you have to learn the first ten members up to till here, till here you have to buy it anyway. So. For one meth, eth, prop, but, pen, hex, hep, tor, non, dec. This is the fundamental thing in naming. The two important things are there, and other things uh, based upon this. We do a chance of naming the all the things that are there. So please remember this or memorize this word rule. Okay. Now we have to discuss prefixes and suffixes. What are prefixes? And what are uh, suffixes? Okay. And if one more thing before that, if a compound contains, if a compound contains five carbon atom, 
then the word root should be pent. Then if a compound contains seven carbon atom, the word root is heptane. Okay. Now we can discuss suffix. Suffix. So suffix is nothing but. So after the word root, we use this suffix. And in this case of suffix, we have two types of suffix. Primary suffix and secondary suffix. Primary suffix and a uh, secondary suffix. So in this case, uh, the suffix is all about the character of that particular compound, or it is uh, nothing but the and uh, the branching or sub. Uh, sorry, it, it is nothing but the functional group attached. Functional group attached in the carbon, and it gives the property of that compound. It indicates or it shows the saturation and unsaturation of the compound. Okay, if it is single bonded or it is whether it is double bonded or triple bonded or the functional group is alcohol compound or aldehyde like that, it gives suffix gives the uh, functional property or it explains the functional group of the compound. Okay, either compound a compound either functional group or not, a saturated or unsaturated or any other thing. It was, it is explained by or from this suffix. Okay. So we can discuss first one primary suffix. What do you mean by primary suffix? Primary suffix shows the uh, saturation property and unsaturation property of the compound. Okay. It gives whether the compound is saturated or unsaturated. Okay. And for saturated compound and unsaturated compound, we have different pattern of naming. For saturated compound, for saturated chain, we say it is saturated chain. In the case of saturated chain, we use ANE as suffix. ANE. So alkanes are saturated compound. So after the word root, so meth, if the number of carbon atom is 1, then we take the word root meth along with the suffix ANE. Because only single bond saturation. So methane. For two carbon atom, then we have to use uh, suffix ane that is ethane, then propane, butane, pendane, hepsane, nonane, decane, octane, like that we can name the compound. Okay. And for unsaturation, unsaturation, for double unsaturation means double and triple bonds. In the case of unsaturated compounds, we had we have doubly bonded carbon atom as well as triply bonded carbon atom. In the case of double bond, we use the suffix ene. This is single bond, this is double bond. We use the suffix ene. So alkenes are doubly bonded, such unsaturated compound. So along with the word root, we use ene suffix. So ethene, propene, butene, pentene, like that. And so on. Okay. And for triply bonded compound, and if there are two double bonds are there, two C double bond C. If there are two double bonds are there, we use D I E N E diene. We use the word diene. We can take diene. That means two. Diene means two. Two double bonds. So diene. Okay. And in the case of triple bond compounds, we can take the suffix Y N E as suffix Y N E. Alkanes, alkane, so ethyne, propyne, butyne, pentyne, hexyne, okay, y -N -E. And if there are two triple bonds, or two C triple bonds, then D-I-Y-N-E, di-Y-N-E, di -Y -N -E, di -Y -N -E. that means two triple, triple bonds. Okay, that is all about the primary suffix, okay. That is all about primary suffix and now we can move on to the secondary suffix. Secondary suffix. Okay. And secondary suffix is all about the functional group. Uh, secondary suffix is all about the functional group. How can we name suffix to a particular functional group? What is functional group in the suffix? What are the suffixes of different functional group? Or functional group in the language, or the functional group in the suffix that we can see here. So alcohol, alcohol is a functional group. It is OH. We use OL. Suffix for alcohol it is OL. Then aldehyde. Aldehyde is CHO. It is AL. Then ketone. That is CO. 
that is oil me suffix here it is oil air oil me then carboxylic acid carboxylic acid that is c o o h it is o i z acid o i z acid then ester ester is c o o r that is o a o a t e then amide c o n h 2 that is also named as amide okay like then amine amine is nh2 that is also named as amine m i n e amine okay so for alcohol it is oil aldehyde it is al and ketone o n e carboxylic acid o i z acid ester o h amide is same amide amine is also same amine these are suffixes for the different functional group and these are secondary suffixes okay and that is all about suffix ithare karyangale suffix il parayanulu and now we can move on to the next one it is prefix prefix so suffix we use after the word root so methane if it is alcohol okay and so we will discuss prefix and before that we have some more thing of suffix that is if it is alcohol oil that is oh group is attached to a carbon where there is only one carbon it is methane plus oil that is for ch3 oh we have only one carbon so we have root methane okay methane then we have the suffix oil single bond is there so e the a ne only single bond so a ne plus oil so here you have to use another rule drop this e then combine these two so methanol nay methanol okay if it is one carbon use the word root methane and single bond we use methane and suffix is oil suffix when you combine this suffix you have drop e so you get methane methanol and for c2h5 oils the name is ethane because single bond and uh, two carbon so ethane you will drop e then add oil methanol this uh, naming will be explained later for okay, the ethanol now we can move on to the suffix how sorry prefix how can we use prefix and in case of prefix also we have uh, two types of prefix prefix is all about the branching or substituents in the carbon chain sometimes carbon will be the uh, suffix carbon atoms or ca the group of some uh, atoms will be there in the substituents or branching okay and the primary suffix is nothing but the cyclo compounds okay first one primary in the case of primary suffix we use some cyclo compound in the case of cyclo compound uh, this is ch2 ch2 uh, ch2 so propane cyclopropane this cyclo word is used that is primary suffix prefix cyclo word is used that is our uh, primary suffix cyclopropane okay and also cyclobutane is there cyclobutane that is that is like this cyclo is another uh, uh, prefix okay cyclopentane cyclohexane that is all about the primary prefix that is very simple primary prefix uh, uh, prefix is very simple now we can move on to the secondary suffix secondary secondary suffix is nothing but the substituents or the branching that is secondary suffix so in that cases some functional groups are also considered as uh, suff uh, that is this in this prefix so this is not suffix secondary prefix okay secondary prefix not suffix secondary prefix so in this case secondary prefix some functional groups are also there that is substituents group or or the branching they are uh, known as uh, prefixes they are used as prefix and secondary prefix okay so methyl group alkyl group will be there halogen group will be there and many groups will be there so chlorine cl chloro then bromine bromo for iodine iodo okay and nno2 nitro okay ns2 amino okay these are the suffix we use so the same amine ns2 will be named as amine for suffix 
If it is suffix, then it will be named as ami. So if it is prefix, it is named as amino. Amino group and ami. Both are different. So in the case of prefix, it is amino. And if it is used as suffix, it is ami. And some alkyl group will be there. Alkyl group. Alkyl group. That means methyl, CH3. Methyl. Then C2H5, ethyl. Then C3H7. Propyl, like that it will go. That is alkyl group. Methyl, cyclobutane, or methyl, uh, propane. Okay, methyl, hexane, like that we can name. Or ethyl, pro, uh, hexane. Or propyl, uh, heptane, like that we can name. Okay. So, uh, that is all about the very basic fundamental things in naming. Very fundamental things. These are the points we have to remember when you name a compound. And so we can compare all these things and So let us see. So first one we need secondary suffix. Sorry, secondary prefix. Okay. And in some cases secondary prefix or will not be there. Okay. In all the compounds, all things will not be there. Some points will not be there. Okay. So secondary prefix plus primary prefix then our word root word root then the primary prefix will come primary prefix then secondary prefix lastly secondary prefix it is all about name that means secondary is uh, sorry not only prefix suffix suffix here it will suffix okay primary suffix secondary suffix okay Sorry. So secondary uh, prefix means secondary prefix means we have already discussed that means fluoro, chloro, primary prefix are about cyclo and word root method proper but non deck. And primary suffix is all about uh, double bond, single bond, A N E, E N E, Y N E. Then secondary suffix is nothing but functional group O H, O L, A L, O I C acid, O H. All these things. So we need secondary prefix, primary prefix, word root, primary suffix, and secondary suffix. By using all these things, we can name an organic compound in IUPAC system. This is a basic and very important point of IUPAC nomenclature. IUPAC name. Okay. And we have one more thing. When you discuss this uh, naming, you have to know one more point that is alkyl group. What do you mean by alkyl group? What is an alkyl group? An alkyl group is something but when a hydrogen atom is removed from an alkyl, when a hydrogen atom is removed from an alkyl, you get alkyl group. Okay, when a hydrogen atom is eliminated from an alkyl, you get alkyl group. So alkyl minus hydrogen, what do you get? Alkyl group. From CH4, one hydrogen is removed, you get CH3. It is methyl. From uh, C2H6, when a hydrogen is removed, you get C2H5, it is ethyl. When C3H8, when a hydrogen is removed, you get C3H7, it is propyl. Okay, so methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, pentyl, hexyl, and so on. So alkyl groups are groups which are obtained from alkyl by the removal of one hydrogen. Okay, and these are all about the very fundamental things of IUPAC nomenclature and that is all about today's topic. Thank you.